Hello again and welcome back to Solar Farmer. Sorry I've been gone for quite some time now. It's been about two years. Uh, and a lot of that has to deal with the uh, COVID pandemic. So hopefully all of you are staying safe. Um, but here's my review after five years of being on MPP Solar. I got to tell you, it, it, it works. Um, if there's any doubt in anybody's mind, um, if, if I were you, I would try it. For the cost, it is hard to beat. Um, but uh, since the pandemic uh, hit, I have not been able to go to the farm as easily as I would have, or as I used to be able to go. And uh, that has caused me to not be able to monitor and maintain the unit for the past two years. And that speaks for itself, you know, without maintaining the unit, you know, not going in there and, and vacuum, vacuum, vacuuming off the screens or anything uh, to keep the airflow clear, the unit has worked fine. Um, we did have one point of failure, and that is at the circuit breaker. So that circuit breaker, as soon as the new one comes in, it'll be replaced. But right now, it's, it's just a straight through. Um, and the circuit breaker was a DC the one that goes to the battery basically from the inverter to the batteries that circuit breaker failed um so once it failed of course no batteries feeding into the inverter so i couldn't turn on my security lights at night without being uh fed directly through the grid uh in any case uh this review here is just going to be quick and easy because there's really not much else i can say other than the inverter works after two and a half years i'd say we're pushing two and a half years now on this new inverter. Um, maybe even three. I can't remember when I installed that. But I know it was before COVID, and that's been two years. So um, all I can tell you is that the unit works. And what you'll see in this particular video is that you'll have a vacuum cleaner, a grinder, and a Dremel tool. The Dremel tool is a 110, 120. The vacuum cleaner and the grinder are 220. So I have a transformer for the Dremel tool so that, you know, we can run that. But what you'll notice is the only time the battery kicks in to, to assist is when I, put, when I turn on the uh, vacuum cleaner. When I turn that off, the grinder and the Dremel tool will operate on their own with no problem. And, uh, you know, so that's going to be almost uh, 2 kilowatts straight, which is what I have on a roof. So, um, well, I hope... It, you know, like I said, this, this video is going to be unadulterated. Forgive me for the the uh, the jerkiness and everything else because I'm operating three machines, um, uh, two of them power tools, and uh, you know I'm, I'm holding the camera because I, I didn't I don't I didn't bring anything to set up, so I'm just using my my cell phone to videotape the entire or video the entire thing, um, just so you guys get a, a chance to take a look and see. This, this video is unadulterated, it's unedited, so that you can, you know, there's just not anything that you're going you're gonna to see that's edited in that makes the unit look any better. This is straight, you know, operation of the, the unit and what it's capable of running with two, two kilowatts on a roof. And as far as a review, it's all thumbs up for me because uh, I have not had a problem. I've had this my second uh, MPP uh, inverter on this particular array and the only reason why is because I updated or upgraded to a, a better uh, MPP uh, unit. The other one still works. This one is like I said hasn't been maintained for a little over two years and it and it's working just fine. So um, just to show you and, and we had a little bit of cloud cover you'll see a little bit of that uh, and it still was able to operate uh, at least two of the, the units that are, are, are machines that I, I appliances that I put on there um, had there not been any clouds who knows it might have performed even better but uh, again for those that are looking for a unit that's now I have uh, you know I, I can attest that for the past five years I've been doing this solar works and if you get the right unit you don't need all that fancy uh, SMA and everything else that you're you're I mean if, if you want to really be efficient, yeah, you can start looking at like, you know, solar edge and those kinds of units. But if you're, if you don't have any trees around you and you're, you're basically unobstructed and you just want to put a fast system up there, you can't beat it because for the price that I put that up on there, I get my money back. My return on investment is basically eight or nine months. So 
I don't know about you, but after eight or nine months, all my electric that I use on here is free. So uh, for me, it works, and, and I'm five years in now. So um, good luck to the rest of you for, you know, trying to install this MPP solar. But, you know, and I, I don't have, I don't get paid by them. I don't have anything that they give me that's free, none of that stuff. So I do this so that other people can understand that, you know, uh, there's another way to do solar and it works. And uh, again, five years in and it's, everything is working just fine. So enjoy the video. And again, forgive me for not editing it because I wanted to make sure that everybody got to, got to see it the way without any kind of like uh, editing involved so that you know that it's the real thing. Anyway, take care and you all stay safe. Okay, bear with me because this is going to be uh, 1051. This is uh, Philippine time. But bear with me uh, because right now, as you can see, there's nothing on the PV. Um, here's the batteries pretty much fully charged and let's take a look at this now what I'm gonna do like I said bear with me because uh, I said the batteries complete charge um, bear with me because what you're gonna see is three different devices that are gonna be turned on this guy here is probably gonna crank out the most about 630 watts uh, then I have this uh, Dremel tool that's being fed by a transformer a convert that converts uh, 220 uh, volts is it right? 220 volts to 110 and you will see in the bottom there 110 I don't know if you can see that there you go 110 it's plugged into that and I have a vacuum cleaner that's going to be about one, 100 what is it 100 watts so I'll turn on the vacuum cleaner first so you can see it um, let's see here, here we're in wattage, PV, vacuum cleaner first. Here's the next one, Dremel tool. Okay, Dremel tool, here we go. You can see the battery here does not get used. Let it start. And for the vacuum cleaners, you can see no initial. Try to hold that steady. Vacuum's a little far away, so here we go. And the reason why I did that is so that you can see that the vacuum will eventually taper down as far as using the battery. The battery's the one that kicks it out first. Now this one's a little harder to turn on. This one here is this grinder. Um, and uh, again we're down here but you'll see it on the battery first it'll crank out quite a bit and then it'll taper down
Hopefully you can see it again. I'm just going to take it from the battery. Okay, now I'm going to turn them all on, and that should really kick out a lot. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll start with this guy and try to hold it with my foot. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. It really suck. Now it's going to charge. Well, I guess not. It says it's charging, but I guess it didn't use a lot of the battery after all. Yeah. And the time now is 10:58, so maybe that's why there's a lot of sunlight right now as you can see here give you an idea of the sun I say it's pretty bright but there are some clouds so it's not a hundred percent sunlight but despite that it's still doing quite well there's a bunch of clouds above us the sun is relatively clear well, there are some clouds. There you go.